Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. By the grace of God, the last time I explained the kappa bones of the hand. So today, I'm going to be explaining the tassa bone. So you should know from now already that the hands are called the upper limbs, while the legs are called the lower limbs. So there are three groups of bone in the hand. This is not your hand. I explained it the last time. This is the arm, this is the forearm, and this is the hand. And there are three groups of bones in the hand, which is namely the kappa bone, the metacarpa, and the phalanges. And we said in the last class that we have eight kappa bones, and I listed the eight kappa bones with some keywords to know it. And we now have the middle one, which is the metacarpa. We can count it. It is namely five. And now we, are, we also listed the 14 phalanges. We have 14 phalanges. So today we are going to be explaining the bones of the foot or feet. That is called the tassel bones. So we just like we have the kappa bones, metacarpa and the phalanges, we also have tassa, metatassa and phalanges or in the bones of the feet. So in the kappa bones, we have eight kappa bones, but in the tassa, we have sar bones. Don't forget it, we have seven tassa bones listed on the screen. We have seven tassa bones, which are, we have the talus, we have the calcaneus, we have the navicula, we have the cuboida, then we have the cuneiform. But there is something about this cuneiform. The cuneiform is divided into three. We have the medial cuneiform, the intermediate cuneiform, and the lateral cuneiform, making it seven. A recap, we have the calcaneus, we have the talus, we have the navicula, we have the cuboida, and we have the cuneiform. And how many are the cuneiform? Three. The medial aspect, the intermediate aspect, and the lateral aspect. So I'm going to give you a, you're going to always remember in an exam or something you should use and know it. And what is this key? So this keyword is the children need milk constantly. Again, the children need milk constantly. As always, like when I taught the kappa bones, I gave you a keyword, and those keywords, what we are using is the first letter words. So the stands for talus. Children, that C stands for what? Calcaneus. N, that's need, stands for navicular bone of the tassa bones. Then the milk is M I N U C. Not K, M I N U C, standing for the media cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, and the lateral cuneiform. And lastly, constantly, meaning the cuboida bone. The children need milk constantly. Standing for talus, calcaneus, navicular, media, cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform, and the cuboida bone. These are the seven tassa bones of the feet. Then we have five metatassa as always and the 14 phalanges of the tassa bones, which we call the toes. I believe you've learned something from this video. God bless you. God bless you. Click on the subscribe button for more so you get notified when we post videos like this. Thank you. God bless.